about seven years ago, I was working in Hartford, and the painters were doing a job, and there was an awful lot of dust coming out of what they were working on. And I asked my supervisor if we could be tested for lead. We used to see workers who would go out onto a bridge project. They'd be cutting uh, lead-painted structures in the middle of the summer, feel terrible at the end of the day, have headaches, feel sick to their stomach, have uh, muscle aches and pains, think that they had the flu. And the only thing that, that helped them was they worked on projects for a short period of time, and then they were laid off for a while, and their blood lead levels went down. The Connecticut Road Industry Surveillance Project, known as CRISP, protects more than 1,700 Connecticut bridge workers from lead poisoning. This project, which is funded by NIOSH, represents the first and only one of its kind in the nation. When we built CRISP in 1988-89, we got together with the Connecticut Department of Transportation, the labor unions, the industry organization, the Connecticut Construction Industry Association, and a number of other interested people, sat down at a table and said, we have a problem, let's find a solution. Push, 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 keep going. We have shown going. that we can control blood lead levels on bridge sites in this state at levels heretofore considered impossible. What we're very proud of is that we haven't had one iron worker in the state of Connecticut that's lost any time due to this. And we have felt that in the past that our members were exposed to high lead level counts because there was no program in this area that was doing anything about monitoring lead. Even with modest levels of cost per claim, we can estimate over $2.5 million in savings in Connecticut as a result of the program, just looking at workers' compensation costs.